In example two here, we're going to go ahead and start to take a look at putting partial derivatives to use. How am I actually going to use a partial derivative, which will produce for me a formula? How can I use that formula to actually tell me the slope of a tangent line on my surface? All right, so let's pretend here that we have this surface um, given by f equals 4 minus x squared minus 2y squared. Now, I don't know what that surface looks like at the moment, but that's not even really the important part. Let's go ahead and pretend that there's going to be a curve that's on that surface. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm just going to make up a fake surface over here. Let's suppose that this is my surface of f. I'm going to draw in here like uh, x, y, z axes. Okay, and let's pretend that right now there's going to be a curve of intersection between this surface and the plane where x is always 2. Okay, in the plane where x is always 2, I'm going to end up with an intersection point that's going to look something like this. It's going to be moving along my surface. Right? I might have a curve up there. Now, maybe I should resketch that curve slightly because that curve might dip down and go up a little bit. Its height might change, but it's always going to be directly above the x value of 2. Now, the reason that I know this is because if I wanted to sketch out what the um, plane x equals 2 looks like, it would just be a plane that goes all the way over and stretches all the way up. So where would it slice through this actual surface? It would slice through at exactly this point, kind of parallel to this plane that I have. So I get some surface in there in red where the x-coordinate is just always 2. Okay, so this is the curve that we're working with. This red stuff here is my C. Notice again, X is fixed. So I want to go ahead and find the slope of the tangent line on my particular surface at this point. For the moment, let's call this point P, and let's just pretend that this is the point. So there's going to be some tangent line there that has some slope. I don't know what the slope is, but let's again just pretend that, like, here's the tangent line that I'm going to draw, right? Like, Gosh, it's a terrible looking tangent line, but like, let's suppose that's my tangent line. And that's the thing that I want the slope of. Okay, so let's think about this. I first would have to identify if I want a partial derivative with respect to x, or if I want a partial derivative with respect to y, to start to find the slope of my tangent line. Well, if I keep in mind that x is at a fixed value, then it would make sense that this curve only is varying when I change the value of y. Along this curve, x is always 2. So here, I would say that I need to calculate my partial derivative with respect to y, because that's going to get me the slopes of tangent lines along this red curve where y varies and x is fixed. Okay, so I can go ahead and actually um, do this here really quickly. Notice if I wanted this partial derivative, I'm going to take the derivative treating x like it's a number. So here I would get 0 for the derivative of the 4, 0 for the x squared, because I'm treating x like it's a number, and then finally, minus a 4y squared. Oops, sorry, not a 4y squared, just a 4y. Got to bring the power down, right? So this would represent the partial, deriv the partial derivative with respect to y. That is, it would represent the slope of every tangent line along that entire curve. So the slope of my green tangent line would then be found when I actually go to this formula and I plug in the actual, apparently, y-coordinate of the point that I want to use. Now here, I'm going to go ahead and list off the x and the y coordinate that I need. Since my function does technically take in both of these values in its notation. But notice that ultimately I would just have negative 4 times 1, which is negative 4. Okay, there is a slightly different way that I could go about doing this. The other way that I could try to quickly tackle this is by identifying what the curve C is. I could say my curve C is given by the function f of 2 comma y. Notice this is the function but restricted down to where the x coordinate is always 2. Notice if I was to do this, I would be saying that this is my function 
This is my red curve on the surface. So this now feels like a calc one question. There should only be one variable in here. And so I would know that again, M is going to be equal to my partial derivative when I plug one in. So if I take the derivative of this, clearly I'm going to get negative four times Y. And if I plug in that value that I have for Y, I get back the slope. So the slope of my green tangent line there, regardless of the way that I think about it, should be the value negative four.